In the 14th century, this disease erased nearly one-third of Europe. It was called the Black Death. Between 1347 and 1351, plague killed an estimated 50 million people across Europe. Cities collapsed, trade stopped, entire families disappeared. At the time, no one understood what was happening. Plague was blamed on curses, air, or fate. What people didn't know then is that plague is not a curse. It is a bacterial infection caused by Yersinia pestis. The bacteria live naturally in small mammals and spread through fleas, which carried the infection from animals to humans. After a bite, the bacteria travel to the lymph nodes, causing painful swelling known as buboes, the most common form, called bubonic plague. If the bacteria enter the bloodstream or lungs, the disease becomes far more dangerous. When it reaches the lungs, pneumonic plague can spread from person to person through respiratory droplets. Untreated, plague can be deadly, with fatality rates reaching 30 to nearly 100 percent, depending on the form. But today, we know the cause, and we have antibiotics. With early diagnosis and treatment, survival improves dramatically. Plague still exists today, mostly in parts of Madagascar, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Peru. Cases are rare, but not zero. The difference now is knowledge, medicine, and speed. Plague didn't disappear. Human understanding changed the ending. If you like our content, please like and follow for more science-driven history.